Hello, today, Broken Magic. This video is supported by the Math Council Alberta Teachers Association. You probably all know about magic squares. Here's an example of a magic square. You know about these. If you look at any of the rows or columns, I've rotated it so it's a diamond, but you know any of the rows or columns, if you look, for example, at the two, nine, and four here, they add up to 15. If you look at the seven, five, and three, they add up to 15. And you can look at any of these different rows and columns at an angle, and they add up to 15. You can look at this for a four by four. This is again magic, adding up to 34. The numbers one through 16. The numbers one through 25, adding up to 65. We're not going to do this. We're going to look at broken magic and let me show you an example. So here's a diamond that's sadly been broken. How well does it function? Well, again, we want the rows and columns, again, rotated 45 degrees. We want them to be added up, to, to add up to the same number. So let's see, how could I do this? Well, I, I might add my numbers 1 through 12. I might add them like this. And if I do that, how successful am I? Have I made them all the same? 4 plus 12 is equal to 16. 11 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7. Oh, that's much higher, 27. We're, we're really doing badly here. How could we score this magic? Well, we can look at the highest number from one of these rows or columns, so 28 minus the smallest which is 15, 28 minus 15 is equal to 13. So 13 is our score, and we want that score to be as low as possible. That's kind of a measure of how strong our magic. If we get to a score of zero, well, then we've got a fully magical diamond on our hands, and we are happy people. That might be difficult whenever the diamond is broken. Uh, can we do better than this for this specific diamond? Well, let's, uh, why don't you go and try this? So we kind of have this, uh, three by three part of the diamond and then a little two by two at the bottom. So see if you can do a better job than I did with my 13. Okay, let's see. This is one of the ways that I was trying to make this better. And I, I did quite a good job. I got a score of 21. That's the highest there, minus 18. But I can swap those two. And that makes it 21 and 19. I can do a little dance there. I thought that was going to help, but of course it doesn't. I still have 21 and 19. Uh, but with a little bit of work, I find this solution where we have 20 and 19 only. No 21s anymore. So this is a difference of only one. And that's, of course, well, it's not of course as, as well as you can do. You might have to convince yourself that you can't do any better than this. Okay, now really it's your class's turn. Go and explore yourselves. Have this little mini little diamond. It, can you make it perfectly magical? If not, how magical can you make it? How long, low can you make the difference between the highest dark blue number and the lowest dark blue number? I'll show you in a second the best that I could do. Here we go. This is the best I could do. I got a score of one. And that, again, is as good as you can do. OK, now something much more difficult. Uh, I don't know. Whenever I say it's much more difficult, the, the addition isn't much more difficult. What's more difficult is I have no idea if I've actually found the best solution. But your class can tackle this. and. That see how see how uh, how low a number you can get. It might be better than mine. Here we're going to um, jump in. This is my first attempt. So I got uh, what is it? Twenty six minus eighteen is equal to eight. And after a little bit of work, I got a bit better. And then this I'm pretty happy with, getting a score of twenty four minus nineteen. And I like maybe you guys can get a score of four, but I'm skeptical. I, I think this is quite difficult to beat. Let's look at the same idea on a pentagon. So here we have a is this a magical pentagon? Can you get down to a score of zero? Again, you're going to be adding the numbers one, two, three, four, five, all the way up till you have this filled. Any ideas? 
Well, for this one, I actually ended up with a very nice pattern. And this is uh, thanks to Gabriella Pinter. This is not my this is not my discovery. But if you start off with a one here, and then you um, just look at the vertex vertices, and you just skip around every second vertex. So then we had two there, three there, four there, five there. Okay, so now we need to add the numbers six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But how do we do that? Well, you'll notice that with this construction, uh, the um, three plus one is equal to four. One plus four is equal to five. Four plus two is equal to six. Two plus five is equal to seven. Five plus three is equal to eight. Now that's convenient. And indeed we can use that to count, to, to go counterclockwise. And uh, we'll put a six there, a seven there, an eight there, a nine there, and a 10 there. And we'll find out that every one of these edges of this pentagon all of the edges add to 14. Oh, I didn't tell you that was the objective before, but yeah, that, that's the objective with the, the Pentagon. So explore different shapes. I'm gonna go back to uh, some other results that I got now for these broken diamonds. And that is this one here. So can you solve this perfectly? That's my question to you. So for those of you, wanting to explore a proof, that's my challenge, is, uh, is look at trying to find a proof, either that this is possible to do or that it's impossible to do. Okay, let's, uh, let's explore. So this is uh, my first attempt. Um, okay, to be honest, this is kind of attempt 2.5, <laughs> okay. And, and you can see I did pretty well. I got down to a score of two. Can I do better? Well, it's impossible to do better. And here's why. You can see that uh, I, I, this could be ideally solved. Okay, it's possible to ideally solve this. And you can do that by adding up the numbers one through 15. There's 15 of those light blue squares. So one plus well, one um, to 15, those add up to 120. And there's five rows and five columns. Again, if we tilt on our edges here, on our sides here, there's five rows and five columns. So um, eat those five columns, that would be 120 divided by five, that would be 24. Okay, so we can solve this perfectly. Okay, so let, let's assume that we can solve it perfectly. So I've already oriented that like, like this. But of course, there's a problem. And those two, edges, they can't both be 24. And why not? Because the very bottom light blue square, there's only going to be a single number that you can add to that to make 24. And it's either going to be on the left or the right. It can't be both. So we know that at least one of these numbers, let's just say it's the one on the right, at least one of these numbers can't be 24. So I'm going to just highlight that in a nasty red. Okay. But because that one is not 24, let's say it's higher than 24, well, we know that one of these ones would then need to be less than 24 in order to balance out, okay? The sum of all of those numbers on the right-hand side, the sum of the, all of those must be 120. So if one's high, one has to be low, done. You know then that if one's high and one's low, um, One's higher than 24 and one's lower than 24. Well, the best difference that you can get is two. I just thought that was a nice little proof. Is it possible to have a broken diamond that still has, that still functions perfectly, that still has zero as the difference? And this I haven't solved yet. So I'm, maybe some of you can solve it. This one, I think, is the smallest possible contender for that. And there's 19 of these light blue squares. So if you add up one to 19, you'll get to 190. So 190 is nicely divisible by five. So the answer is 38. So if this is possible, it should be solved with 38 in each of these. Again, I haven't solved this. This is as close as I could get and it's not it's not right. No, that's not the closest. That was my first attempt. Uh, wildly bad. <laughs> 10.5.
10. And then with a little bit of work, I got down to 41 minus 33 is eight. And then with a lot of work, I got down to 39 minus 37 is two, but I haven't solved it. And I, I suspect, I, this is just a wild guess. I suspect that this is solvable. So uh, I, I just guessing that it is good. Okay. So enjoy and I'll see you uh, in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.